I do want to ask you though, since at one point you were co-chairperson of the Global Committee of Argentine Bondholders, do you hold any Argentine bonds at the moment? Uh, we do, um, and we've been thinking that this wouldn't be a you know, bad time to get more involved. Why? Uh, you have confidence that the IMF will up its payments or quicken its payments and that that will help even at 60% you know, benchmark interest rate and so on? Uh, you know, I mean, it's an interesting framework. Um, I think that the market reaction in Argentina got, caught a lot of people um, in the markets by surprise. Um, I think the technicals were people were, there's some euphoria around Macri coming in. Um, so, you know, I think many of us didn't anticipate how sharp the reaction would be when the news got not so good. For those of us who've been in these markets for a long time, I mean, I was co-chairman back in 2001 through 2005. This is actually somewhat of a blip. Um, in terms of the real fundamental news relative to the market reaction, I think the fundamentals are probably stronger. Moreover, with the Macri administration, it's not a surprise that the IMF made the announcement as I was on my way over here. Um, it's really important to Washington, to the, you know, the international institutions, that Argentina stays stable. Um, so that they'll be constructive and try to work with, with the Macri government uh, is not a surprise. It was just a matter of timing. The question is, what are they going to ask in terms of macroeconomic policies in exchange for the money to you know, backstop the markets?